Good afternoon, I welcome you to this session of experimental methods in fluid mechanics and in continuation of my last lecture on multi hull probes, today I will discuss about the uh, difference between three, between 3 hole and 4 hole probes and we will see that the extra feature that is there with the measurement of 4 hole probes and many a time we need to place 4 hole probes to measure uh, extra flow parameter which we cannot measure using 3 hole probe. If I can recall correctly in my last lecture I have discussed about the pressure measurement using 3 hole probe and we have seen that as compared to other instruments which are used to measure pressure, multi hole probes are used and in places where you know uh, we need to have simultaneous measurement of static pressure, stagnation pressure and also the flow angles. In particular I can tell that this multi hole probes are very important to measure flow parameters in the flow field in a turbo machines. Where in addition to the static pressure, total pressure, the flow angles are very important. Direction of flow is very important. Now, we have seen that the probes are basically two types static pressure probe and stagnation pressure probe and I have discussed that stagnation pressure probe and static pressure probes are very you know we need to place them accurately in the flow field and there are a few conditions uh, which we need to maintain which we need to consider while placing those probes in the flow field like their orientation and if I can recall that perhaps I have discussed about the you know one important problem that is there with the measurement of pressure using stagnation pressure probe that the stagnation pressure I mean when we place stagnation pressure probes in a flow field inevitably the probes you know disturb the flow field near the measurement points and uh, fortunately, if the flow is uniform and steady, then the stagnation points, you know, stagnation occurs so rapidly that the effect of temperature and frictional heat transfer and frictional effect can be ignored. And if we can ignore, if the flow field is uniform and steady, then the measurement, that the, the measured value using uh, probe. Uh, will be the correct one. Now, this may not be the case always. In fact, it is very difficult to have uniform and steady flow always and if when you talk about the flow is uniform and steady perhaps uh, I mean this is one assumption, but uh, it is not the case. In fact, it is not the case when we use probes to measure flow parameters in in the turbo machinery uh, in the flow field of the turbo machinery. Now, uh, so what will be the problem? So, that means, if we use stagnation pressure probe again I am telling that the probes are very useful because these probes are having a few advantageous features that we have discussed in my last lecture. So, uh, in particular this if we place the stagnation pressure probe in a flow field. I mean uh, where we have a stiff stagnation pressure gradient say within the boundary layer where stream lines are deflected in the region where velocity is less. In that case the measured value of pressure using stagnation pressure probe will overestimate the pressure because uh, the measured value will be higher than the pressure which is uh, actually there in the measured zone. So, and we have seen that if we use three hole probe to measure flow parameters say static pressure, stagnation pressure and, and using the static and stagnation pressure we can measure flow velocity component that I will discuss in detail in one of my uh, lectures 
while we will while we will discuss about the flow velocity measurement. Now, the three hole probe is having limitation that it cannot measure the pitch angle rather the pitch characteristics of the flow cannot be measured by the three hole probe and to overcome that if we use three hole probe in particular in um, turbo machines in that case the pitch characteristics of the flow cannot be measured but which is very important. Now to include that feature so that we can measure pitch angle on the top of the yaw angle that is uh, which is measured using three hole probe uh, there is another probe that is four hole probe and today we will discuss with a schematic the constructional feature of a four hole probe and how using a four hole probe we can measure uh, pitch characteristics additionally uh, because other three parameters like static pressure, stagnation pressure and the yaw angle can be can also be measured. So, now we will discuss that the construction of a four hole probe and this four hole probes are basically used in places where flow field is three dimensional that is what I have discussed I have pointed out in my last lecture. Now, today we will see that these four hole probes are also having uh, you know additional features which which you know uh, make it much more you know applicable in the uh, experimental fluid dynamics in particular experimental turbo machinery uh, turbo machine research. Now, if I try to draw the schematic of a four hole probe we will see that there are two different you know because uh, see probes are basically different types you know kind of that is what I have discussed that you know cylindrical probe. Uh, it may be triangular probes so that depending upon the you know uh, config you know geometrical uh, shape this can be classified but but the i will take only the cylindrical probe today uh, to describe the working principle and from there we'll just try to see that how we can measure the you know uh, static pressure stagnation pressure and also from there how we can measure the velocity component that is very important now now so uh, today we will discuss about the you know uh, four hole probes. So, if I compare this probe with the three hole probe then we will see that this probe is having an advantage that it can measure the pitch characteristics. So, pitch characteristics rather pitch angle pitch characteristics of the flow of the flow can be measured using four hole probe. So, this is one. Now, since this extra flow feature can be measured using this probe, construction wise it is slightly different than the three hole probe. That means, to measure this extra feature using this probe, we need to have another extra probe that is obvious because the name itself suggests, rather, name itself implies that this is four hole. So, we will have extra hole that is. Uh, used to measure the pitch characteristics. Now, so just today uh, I will describe the constructional feature. Uh, again, I am telling depending upon the geometry of the probe, it may be uh, cylindrical, it may be wedge type probe, uh, the probe may be conical type. So, that is basically geometrical structure of the probes. But, but the operational principle is more or less same for all the cases. So, now taking one example say if I try to draw a four hole cylindrical probe and then we will see that even if we use four hole cylindrical probe that probe is not useful to measure flow parameters uh, very close to the boundary. So, we can measure rather we can use that probe to measure flow parameters, but we need to 
place the probe away from the boundary. So, again this is another one limitation. So, to circumvent that uh, there are other you know uh, four hole other type of four hole probe that is the you know uh, four hole wedge type uh, probe which can be measured uh, the uh, probe parameters even in, uh, in in the zone which is close to the boundary. Now, uh, I am drawing a four hole four hole wedge probe. So, again I am telling these probes are you know uh, uh, having uh, several advantageous features I mean because of what these probes are very commonly used to measure flow parameters in particular static pressure stagnation pressure and if we if I talk about flow features in a turbomasonry flow field then of course, the pitch angle and yaw angle is will come, but, but because of this you know robustness simplicity in the structure and ease of insertion I mean we can easily insert. So, this you know three important advantageous features uh, is rather uh, features are allowing uh, four hole or three hole probes to gain huge popularity in the experimental research where simultaneous measurement of several flow parameters are important. Now, so this is See, see, I am. If I look at so now, there will be four holes because name is four hole probe. So, there will be probes multi hole, we have four hole. This is OH type, so we will have one hole here and another here. So, this is used pitch this is used to measure yaw angle yaw 1 and I can say this is used to measure yaw angle 2 and this is pitch 1. So, this is basically the I, I, I am drawing the schematic of the probe and uh, the special feature is that we can measure pitch characteristics which we cannot measure using three hole probe. So, now if I try to see the probe uh, in a different view then uh, it will look like this. In fact,
Now, this is one hole that is also one hole if I uh, see from this side. Now, uh, so if the flow this is the you know flow direction now say so this is the flow direction and this angle beta and so this is the flow velocity and this angle is alpha. So, now this beta and alpha. So, this beta and this alpha see this beta that is very important and to measure this beta we need to have this additional hole. So, this beta is the pitch angle pitch angle which is greater than 0 and alpha that is we have seen in that is there even in for the three hole probe configuration and this alpha is the yaw angle which is also greater than 0. Now, the additional hole which is there in a four hole probe allows us to measure pitch angle which cannot be measured using the three hole probe. We will see that when we measure flow parameters using four hole probes then uh, there are four different holes we have identified. Now, pressure taps are connected rather these holes are you know drilled radially uh, and the pressure taps are con connected to the pressure leads and those leads are connected to the pressure taps are connected to the YouTube manometer. Now, the probe is yawed until uh, the you know this one two these two are connected I, I can say that the pressure leads uh, are connected to the uh, YouTube manometer rather projection manometer and two uh, two projection manometer and one YouTube manometer and the YouTube manometers two limbs are connected the yaw orifices that is point 2 and 3. Now, the probe is you know yawed until the pressure at point 2 and 3 are become equal and this is uh, I mean whenever we are using rather we are inserting this probe in any flow field uh, we need to ensure that the pressure at point 2 and 3 will be equal and the probe is yawed until the pressure at the orifices 2 and 3 are rather are same and this is done at least uh, uh, for within the interval of different you know angles say plus uh, at an interval of 5 degree from plus minus 45 degree and the operational principle of the four hole probe how we can measure static pressure, stagnation pressure and the pitch and yaw angle that we will discuss and we will discuss in detail in the context of measuring flow velocities. But for the timing we should know that this is the geometric ge geometrical structure of a four hole OH type probe where additional hole is responsible to measure the pitch characteristics of the pitch angle and that is given that is shown in the figure. Now, in this context at least we should know that we have seen there are pressure orifices. So, this pressure orifices rather pressure holes are, are drilled radially and extended vertically for the pressure leads 
they are, they are connected to the pressure lead. So, I am writing that pressure orifices pressure orifice orifices we have seen that we have and this pressure orifices so or holes this pressure orifices are drilled radially and extended vertically for connectors to the leads to the pressure leads. Now, when we talk about this at least here we will see that what will be the geometrical structure of a four hole probe which is cylindrical in shape and if we use a four hole cylindrical shape you know uh, rather then it will be clear what are the uh, you know connectors what is pressure lead and the drilled holes as I, as I have written here those are drilled radially and these are extended vertically for the connectors to the pressure lead because eventually you need to take tap rather you need to connect the pressure leads to the projection manometer and u tube manometer from there we will get the reading. Now, if I try to draw the you know four hole cylindrical probe. because uh, the limitation of cantilever type or wedge type probe is that that these probes cannot be directly placed in the region which is close to the boundary. So, to overcome that difficulty the new configuration that is four hole cylindrical probe came and now it is again very straightforward and uh, I am now drawing that. So, one hole the one orifice is here one is at the central location other two are you know the air from the central location. So, this is one this is two this is three this is four. Now, this one two three and four two and three if I go back to my previous slides and previous slide then your 1 and your 2 that is these two are used to measure the your characteristics. One is as usual that is there to measure uh, that is there even uh, in in a three hole probe, but the four hole probe the final the, the fourth number of hole that is used to measure the pitch characteristics. Now, just now I have written that pressure orifices or holes are drilled radially and extended vertically for connectors to the pressure lead. Now, if I draw the another view of this four hole probe then we can see that what are the pressure leads and all those things. Now, so Uh, so, we have one central hole one 
similarly and this extra hole is responsible for to measure the pitch characteristics. Now, these are placed if I uh, angle is 45 degree, this angle is also 45 degree. So, and this diameter of the cylindrical cylinder that is capital D. Now, you know uh, if I draw that Uh, this is the fourth hole this is the fourth hole and this angle is 60 degree. So, this fourth hole, so this is drilled radially and then extended vertically to connect the pressure leads and those leads are connected to the taps are connected from the rather from the pressure leads to connect with the projection manometer and the YouTube manometer. So, these are basically similarly another one hole just I am drawing here. So, now this is the flow direction. this is the flow direction and uh, the view which is shown at the bottom is the like this. So, if I try to look at from the top we will look, we'll look like this and if the flow is approaching like this in the direction shown by arrow then the additional hole which is drilled radially and then extended vertically and to the pressure leads and then ultimately this pressure leads will be connected to the manometer uh, which is responsible to measure the pitch characteristics. And the this drilled hold radially drilled holes are housed uh, in a brass head and uh, the you know uh, tubes which are as I said you that pressure leads I mean uh, drilled hole those are connected to the steel tube I mean these are holes are drilled in a brass head and then steel tubes are you know these are steel tube. Uh, so, basically this is steel tube. So, the holes are drilled radially and extended vertically through which steel tubes are placed. Now, uh, we will see that this four hole cylindrical probe is even better as compared to the OHF and you know cantilever type four hole cantilever type uh, hole uh, pitot cylinder cantilever type uh, because this can be placed even in the region which is close to the boundary. So, we will discuss in detail that today just I have we have seen that the geometrical construction of the probes. Now, knowing this we will see that using this flow if you would like to measure that flow is approaching. Now, flow when if I if I go back to the previous slide. So, this is the flow velocity uh, flow velocity. So, now then if that is placed because very uh, many times the probes are placed where flow axis is perpendicular to the probe axis. And if it is not the case we have seen that 
there will be a few problems, but, but normally the flow axis probe is placed in such a way that the uh, probe axis will be parallel to the flow axis. We will see that uh, these probes are normally calibrated and, and that is the calibration is done in a wind tunnel, but uh, if it is uh, otherwise we cannot measure uh, uh, flow parameters when we directly if, uh, after manufacturing it is calibrated. Now, the operational principle that is very important how we can measure several flow parameters. Till now we have understood that okay, fine using 4 hole probes or multi hole probes we can measure uh, static pressure, stagnation pressure as well as the flow angles, but we need to know the operational principle. The moment we insert probe in the flow field then what are the procedure we need to follow to have the measurement of static pressure, stagnation pressure and the flow angles and that is very important and we will discuss that aspect in detail when we will we'll be discussing about the flow velocity measurement using the multi hole probe. But for the time being we have seen that geometrically 4 hole probe can 4 hole probe is better as compared to 3 hole probe in the context of uh, you know one important flow parameter uh, measurement that is pitch angle and 4 hole probes are largely suited where flow field is 3 dimensional and we have seen that this additional hole you know having an additional hole in the probe is not again I am telling you know fabrication wise it is not so easy, but, but this is important this, this should have to have uh, uh, you know uh, the measurement of pitch characteristics, but, but uh, this 4 hole probes again can be classified based on their geometrical construction, which type probe we have seen and also the 4 orifice cantilever type uh, cylindrical probe that is also not suitable for measuring flow parameters which is very uh, you know I mean we cannot measure flow parameters using those probes in a zone which is very close to the uh, boundary. Instead if we use 4 hole cylindrical type probe this probe is much more suitable for measuring flow parameters in zones uh, close to the boundary. Now, uh, this 4 hole probes as I said you that additional hole. So, I am writing the with the additional with the additional advantage that it can approach much nearer to a wall opposite to the points of point of insertion. So, this is the additional advantage. What is the additional advantage? The equipment of additional hole. So, extra hole with the additional advantage that it can approach much nearer to a wall opposite to the point of insertion. Now, as I said that, that here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 different folds. The pressure leads the vertical connect extend vertically for connected to the pressure leads. The pressure leads are connected to projection manometer and to 2 projection manometers and 1 U2 manometers. The U2 manometers of course, we can see 2 projection manometers means 
the 1 and 4 these two are connected with the two projection manometers and 2 and 3 these two pressure leads are connected to the U2 manometers because these two are the EO orifices. So, here 2 comma 3 these two are the EO orifices right and these EO orifices are connected to U tube manometer through pressure leads. So, through pressure leads this uh, two orifices are connected to the U tube manometer and a reference pitot tube rather pitot probe used to measure the total pressure. And again I am telling that part I will discuss in detail again that the probe is yawed until the pressure at orifices 2 and 3 that is so pressure the probe will be yawed until the pressure at point 2 and 3 you know becomes equal. So, until they are not becoming equal the probe will be yawed and this is done at an interval of 5 degree of the uh, yaw angle and that part the operational principle and how we can eventually calculate the total pressure static pressure and from there the flow of velocities that is very important uh, we will discuss in detail in one of my next lectures. So, today we have discussed that the four hole probes are used in places where flow field is really th I mean largely three dimensional because the three hole probe cannot measure the pitch characteristics of the flow. To measure this extra feature rather the pitch characteristics of the flow on the top of that other measurements like static pressure, stagnation pressure and the yaw angle, we need to have an additional hole uh, that is why this is four hole. But the placement or placing of an additional hole in the structure is an advantage because the additional advantage is that we can place the probe which is close to the wall opposite to the direction opposite to the point of insertion. Now, that means we can measure flow parameters in a zone which is close to the boundary which is not possible using other four hole probes that is four hole wedge type probes and the uh, cantilever orifice uh, you know uh, four orifice cantilever type uh, probe. Now, that is why this four hole cylindrical probe came into the uh, picture. Now, the pressure orifices pressure holes those are drilled radially and extended vertically. So, that the pressure leads basically steel tube are connected to the probes and from there tapping is taken to connect those orifices or holes to the manometer. There are four different holes 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 and 3 are the yaw orifices which are connected to the U tube manometer through pressure leads and the orifices 1 and 4 these are connected to the two projection manometer. So, from these two projection manometer we will get reading using those reading how we can calculate the flow velocities in particular flow angles is very important in the context of turbo machinery flow angle this is done and uh, U orifices are connected to the U tube manometer. One important point is that when we are measuring flow parameters using multi hole probes these uh, in four hole probes the probes will be yawed until the pressure at orifices 2 and 3 are become equal and this is continued 
with an interval of 5 degree uh, yaw angle to check the you know uh, to calibrate the uh, ropes. So, with this I stop my discussion today and we will continue our discussion in the next class. Thank you.